Former President Trump was caught with classified documents. And so that was turned into a very big story, uh, but one that now has come full circle. Why? Because President Biden, who wasn't president at the time, which makes it even worse, has classified documents in technical. We're having internet office. connectivity issues. So House Oversight Chair wants more information on Biden docs from the White House. So James Colmer on Sunday slammed President Joe Biden and his team for their handling of classified docs. And they mentioned some State of the Union. We would never have known about the possession of the classified docs were it not for investigative reporting by CBS that somehow got a leak. Obviously, that is from inside the White House. No question about it, to determine that this had happened prior to the election. Now, why is this significant? Because, again, if this information had been presented, whether prior to the 2020 election or even the 2022 election, there is no question that this type of impropriety would have played a role in a number of independent. Again, this is the, also the big problem we talk about all the time with the Democratic liberal mindset of it's Democrats versus Republicans. No, it's actually not. It's Democrats here, Republicans there and independents, which make up over half the voting population. And they ultimately decide which side they want to go to. So if a story like this were to come out, they may decide, well, I cert listen. I, I can't stand Trump. Oh, I can't stand the Republicans, blah, 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 blah. But if there's one thing I do know is that the ultimate institutional politician, which is Joe Biden, I do not want to send him to the White House for four years, or I do not want a Democratic majority in the House or Senate in 2022. Or I think it looks like he's deceased and just being propped up by a bunch of like elder abusing uh, opportunists. I don't know. Now, the reason, and of course, we all have these theories here, any additional information that's worth mentioning is so uh, essentially what was responded to from the Kentucky representative to CNN's Jake Tapper. The administration hasn't been transparent about what's going on with President Biden's possession of classified documents. That is absolutely true. And we just want equal treatment here with respect to how both former President Trump and current President Joe Biden are being treated with the document issue. I think it's very cut and dry. Uh, is on a technicality, and that's really the thing here, on a technicality, is Joe Biden guilty of mishandling classified documents? The answer is yes, he is. And in part because when he had these classified documents, he was the vice president. He's not even legally allowed to have possession of them. This is a question of what kind of, how much, whether or not it was overreach regarding President Trump and what he did with classified documents. Remember, the president has the authority, the chief executive has the authority to classify and declassify documents. Now, in this case, President Biden was not the president at the time and was in possession of classified documents. So now the question becomes, are we going to start an impeachment trial in this congressional session? And as we've talked about, I've always maintained it's very likely to happen. And now that you have concrete grounds in order to do it, will it happen is the question. I think, yes, you think. I don't I don't I don't care. But do you think it will happen? Um I mean, look, if there's a way for them to sort of level the playing field, I guess, because think about it, in 24, you could potentially be looking at two former impeached presidents running against each other for president. <laughs> Boy, that would be something. Well, I mean, it's just, I, mean, I, mean, I don't follow it. any of this. And here's the truth. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about the classified documents. But I I'll really don't. Now, tell me if there's been a negative effect from something. But the fact that they just go after this to go after this, is that it's like going after Al Capone for tax evasion. I feel like... You know, when you're dealing with people that have committed crimes against humanity, the fact that we're sitting there and nitpicking over who had what documents where, that to me is so, like, TM, irrelevant. Friend of, the, friend of the show, T.M. Martin of Political Coffee says, Story of the Intercept says that Biden used the classified documents accusation against Jimmy Carter's CIA nomination. And this, it just goes to show you how long Joe Biden has been. No, in all of it's disgusting. All of it is absolutely disgusting. But my point is, this to me seems like something that has probably happened to every single administration and has always oh, yeah. existed. And so to just be going after that, that it's almost like, 
I, I can't like find some other in, unprofessional or, or totally nepotism type thing that's happened in any administration. Like it's just none of that. Let's just say this. If these people weren't committing war crimes and profiting off of the suffering of other people, I don't think I'd give a shit about any of that stuff. It's kind of like if my if my representative was, let's say, corrupt, but was amazing and did really good things and actually really helped the people and did all that stuff. I don't know that I would notice that they were as corrupt. Like, I just feel like this well, is kind of small. The, well, it's kind, it's kind of like the argument with Katie Porter. It's like. Katie Porter is as good as it gets on the Hill. And there are people that are coming out now, including, uh, what is it, Dear White Staffers, I think is the account, yeah. um, that are basically saying that she is a bitch. Okay. And So don't hang out. Don't be friends. And, and if you work for her, understand that she has somewhat of a militant approach to running her operation. And so what does that tell you? It tells me that on the one hand, it matters very much that you have a representative that is working her ass off. If she was just somebody acting like entitled, like a Nancy Pelosi who doesn't really do anything, or like our representative, our rep, our representative who has the same reputation, only doesn't get anything done, is actually a net negative of the highest order. Yeah, then that's a problem, and people will speak out about that. But the difference with somebody like Katie is that she gets stuff done in the and, and good stuff. You see, that's I, the thing. Yeah. When you hear politicians say, I get stuff done, like, well, oh, you get bad stuff. Well, and I just, I'm so tired of hearing about people's personality traits. Then don't work for them. Don't be friends with them. You know, that's not my issue. Yeah, would I prefer to hear that everybody treats their staff great? Of course I would. But that does not negate some, that's like when people say, you know, if you don't like somebody personally, then they're not necessarily good at what they do. That's not how this works. No, I agree with that. And again, you got stop with the Trump Putin stuff. Like it's not going to fly on this show. So don't try it. You want to say that they're in bed with the Saudis? That I agree with, because that's who Jared Kushner has been doing business deals with. And now Elon Musk apparently is involved with that nonsense as well oh, over in Qatar. So it, it's let's all keep the same it. Let's to yeah, me. but you, like you I said, it's all the different oligarchs why, and all that stuff. Why do people care what language your oligarchs speak? Again, well, this is this is a global but class we care, we care, war. But we care on this channel whether or not the Russians are getting proper treatment. First of all, not. I well, I just to me, I, I I don't. You'll all be speaking Sputnik before it's all done. No, we'll all be speaking Mandarin. Oh, they get out of here! They do not have anywhere near as many nuclear explosives as we have. So. <laughs> That's going to be a big problem. <laughs> I do believe that the leak came from inside the White House, and I think it's coming for two reasons. Number one, I think a lot of them- You think they want to get rid of Joe? Well, they want to get rid of Joe for a couple of but reasons. But they don't have anyone else to put there. They, well, that's not necessarily true. I think they would want to have a primary. But they want to have that primary for a number of reasons. First one, of course, is that right now, if the money is on the table, whether it's Joe Biden against Donald Trump or especially Ron DeSantis, Joe Biden is going to lose. And I don't. I think that there are enough people that are there that are saying, well, we don't want to be, we don't want to have to have blood on our hands, so to speak, knowing full well that our current president is in full cognitive decline. He isn't going to be capable of campaigning in 15 to 20 states around the country to convince people to come out and vote for him. They're going to have to like, it'll be like that movie, Dave. They're going to have to get like get a the, Joe a replica. A double, right? Well, doppelganger to well, go George, Well, George, well, George W. Bush had doppelgangers. He had doppelgangers. It's just so creepy. And so That's it wouldn't so surprise creepy. me at all if they're going to do the same thing with Joe. Uh, I don't know that you so, can find somebody that old and decrepit that isn't actually him. No, that's true. I, I, I do think that there is. Uh, <laughs> and look, I think that there's international sabotage. But let's say, OK, whatever. So they, they want to they want to get rid of Joe. They want to eliminate him as an option. OK, sure. Who? Who are they putting up? Okay, Team Clinton Gavin is going to put up Pete or, or and Kamala. Gavin. Okay, so that's Team or Clinton. Even, or even Kamala. There's they're not going to. Really, at this point, I feel I like she's the joke. They have invested so much political capital in the I know. nonsense, even though she's so but inept. But they, I, at, this point, it's, at this point, they need to see that as a sunk cost. Maybe, maybe, they, maybe they will do that. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.